Welcome to CCBC TV's Arts Showcase, a series featuring performances from the campuses of the Community College of Baltimore County. I'm Monica Otal, Professor of Music and Concert Manager at CCBC. Today's Arts Showcase features the Maryland State Boy Choir in Concert. Named as Maryland's official goodwill ambassadors, the 150 voice boy choir, ages 7 to 20, is comprised of several different ensembles. Under their artistic director, Stephen Holmes, they have performed throughout Maryland and on tours locally, nationally, and internationally. They present a diverse concert ranging from classical to popular choral selections for you today. Delaware and we're on a four-day tour. This is our second concert today. We sang for students at Wilmington Friends School this morning in Delaware and uh, then we sing uh, this evening in Carroll County and uh, New Windsor. So we're delighted to be with you all. The first song you heard was called Grant We Beseech Thee followed by At the Round Earth's Imagine Corners. We'll now sing for you two songs that come from the Renaissance era. Indeed music that was originally conceived with the idea of uh, boys voices to be sung. We know that music until about 150 to 175 years ago in re religious settings were indeed intended actually for young men to sing. So they were composed with boys' voices in mind. 
And uh, the, though these come from a similar era, they're quite different in how they're constructed. For those of you who are uh, musicians, the first we sing, Oh Sing Joyfully, is much more homophonic. The chords all align and work together, for the most part, with a little bit of imitation. The second is called Siku Cervus by Palestrina, perhaps the most famous uh, composer of the late High Renaissance, and it's a text from the book of Psalms. Psalm 42, as the deer pants for the water brooks, so long with my soul after thee, O God. And this is kind of considered the most elevated sense of imitation. You'll hear one line enter in the tenor, followed by the alto, followed by the soprano, and then the bass. And you can hear how that line drives the whole piece. So now, O oh, sing joyfully, and Siku Cervus. Joyfully, oh, sing joyfully unto God our strength. Make the children sing Thank you. 
before we sing our next two songs, uh, the Maryland State Boy Choir has just uh, finished up our uh, fall recruiting season. We're just wrapping that up. So kind of one last chance. If you happen to know of any young men who might be interested in our program, um, we start begin at ages six and go all the way through collegiate years. Many of these gentlemen have been singing together for 10 and 12 years, which is one of the neat aspects of our choir. You see about 25 boys here today. Our program each year ranges between 125 and 125. 50 boys. I see a couple alumni folk here. Uh, Andrew Oswinkle right here. And do I see a Denard wearing definitely the wrong choice of hat for a Yankees fan, but that's okay. <laughs> we have Denard. And then um, uh, Ralph Burnaby right here also attends school here. So we're l delighted to have a couple uh, connections. Uh, we'll now sing for you uh, two more songs that come from the uh, church tradition, and then we'll venture into some other repertoire out of that tradition. This next one is called Lord for Thy Tender Mercy's Sake. In uh, the um, couple of the movements in the church, um, church leaders decided that the music had gotten to be too complex, like the last piece. And so they wanted the words to be sung at the same time so that everyone could understand them. So hopefully we'll attempt to make sure you can understand them. But in any case, uh, so church reform made the music much simpler, but still no less beautiful. So we sing a song from that era the late Renaissance, Lord for Thy Tender Mercy's Sake by Richard Ferrant. After that, we'll sing for you a song by a contemporary composer, John Rutter, and it's called Open Thou Mine Eyes, an old Gaelic text, but he, um, in setting this, or an old Gaelic tune it's based upon, but the text is actually uh, translated from uh, Lancelot Andrews, who was one of the lead translators of the King James Bible, so it's certainly a text that might kind of ring familiar in your ears, even if you haven't heard it. So first, Lord, for thy tender mercy's sake, and then open thou mine eyes. Thank you. 
This next song is a song in unison where everyone is singing the same notes and uh, I always endeavor with these gentlemen to sing in many parts but also to always sing in unison. This is a song that you may have heard that was sung at the opening ceremonies of the Olympi Olympics this past summer and also kind of an old movie that you might remember called Chariots of Fire and it's called Jerusalem by a Victorian composer, S Sir Charles Hubert Hastings Perry. A text by William Blake, wonderful poet. This is sing two songs from the African-American tradition uh, where there's a great wealth of uh, spirituals and gospel music and jazz and blues and uh, certainly an American contribution like none other as far as folk music and um, music that represents the American culture and spirit. So the first is a story from the Old Testament of Daniel in the lion's den called Daniel, Daniel, Servant of the Lord. And then we'll sing for you a gospel song called True Light by Keith Hampton. King cried, oh, Daniel, Daniel, oh, Daniel, Daniel, oh, 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 oh,
two songs are Sopranos and Alto that start that we'll sing here in the front row. So Lucas, you can lead these gentlemen off and go to that front row. And uh, we'll sing a few songs just intended for tenor and bass uh, voices for the men's chorus tradition. And uh, this group uh, comprises boys in our concert or our tour choir. Today we just have our tour choir gentlemen, so it's a smaller ensemble than you would otherwise see. But they'll sing a few songs that come from the uh, men's chorus repertoire. The first one they'll sing for you is an early American hymn called Bound for the Promised Land. It has a flavor of shape note singing, if you've ever heard of that, kind of that early American hymn style. Sounds very open harmonies, very American, undoubtedly. And then they'll sing a song from Newfoundland, and we're excited this summer we'll be traveling to Newfoundland um, for Festival 500, which is a very uh, impressive and uh, great international festival. So we're very excited to have been selected to travel there. And so kind of neat that we sing a song that hails from that region. So this is um, Old Brown's Daughter, the story of a young young boy uh, in his teenage years, and he's a peasant in Newfoundland, and he hopes, though, that he can marry this beautiful girl, but her father is the local store owner's, um, her father's the local store owner, and if you know about small towns, a local store owner would be the most wealthy in the town, most likely, and this boy is basically penniless. Well, he decides that the only way he's ever gonna rise up to a level enough to marry this uh, beautiful girl is if he runs to be the mayor of the town, called Trinity, and if he becomes the mayor, well then maybe she might happen to notice him and maybe her uh, father would approve. So this is the story of Old Brown's Daughter, but first bound for the promised land. Stormy banks I stand and cast a wishful eye to Canaan's fair and happy land where my possessions lie. I am bound for the promised land, I'm bound for the promised land. Oh, who will come and go with me? I'm bound for the promised land. Ceasing pleasures roar, and its veils is never tired. I'm bound for the promised land. I am bound for the promised land. Oh, who oh, 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 will go and go with me? Brown, 
she smiles so sweetly when I say a tender word. Oh, but old Brown says that she must wed a marquee or an earl. Well, I don't suppose it's ever one of those things I will be. Oh, but by jingo next election, I will run for Trinity. And this old Brown's daughter is a proper sort of girl. Old Brown's daughter is as fair as any pearl. I wish I was a lawn mayor, marquee or an earl. And blow me if I would, it's very old Brown's girl. And this old Brown's daughter is a proper sort of girl. Old Brown's daughter is as fair as any pearl. I wish I was a Lord Mayor, Marquis or an Earl. And blow me if I would, it's merry old Brown's girl. And we'll sing one last song and then we'll close our program with our uh, trebles and altos joining us. So this last song that these uh, gentlemen will sing is called Sophomoric Philosophy. Certainly appropriate singing in a college. And uh, then these uh, other boys will join us for a last tune or two. come to our concerts. We present between 60 and 80 concerts each year, our various ensembles. So not necessarily just these boys, but our various groups. And we would love to uh, have you come to our other concerts. We'd be happy to add you to our mailing list if you are uh, interested in that. And also, uh, we know many of you are college students, but those of you who are perhaps in a slightly better financial state than a college student, um, we do have envelopes in our program. And if you might be so inclined to support our work, we solely exist from uh, donors like yourselves and the money that the boys raise and contribute and um, many people think a little backyard choir uh, it's it's more like a seven hundred and fifty thousand dollar budget that we have to raise each year to support our boys and our staff and so we come to our concerts uh, each year presenting uh, representing our fine state of Maryland as Maryland's goodwill ambassadors thanks so much we'll now conclude with two songs uh, first the storm is passing over a uh, a gospel song, um, one of the more famous traditional gospel songs, but it actually, people don't realize, hails from the state of Maryland, from the eastern shore. Charles Albert Tinley, who wrote it, was a 
um, African Methodist minister who wrote the song. And then after that, we'll sing a song called Musical Risotto, particularly for you music students. You'll recognize a lot of the words, maybe not all of them, but a lot of Italian words for music that many folks will recognize uh, basics of crescendos and accelerandos and um, things of that sort. And it's meant to be a bit goofy and tongue in cheek. It kind of makes fun of singers a bit. You'll get the idea as you hear it. So thanks again. And um, we'll hope to see you again. We sing now The Storm is Passing Over and Musical Risotto.
I hope you enjoyed this performance by the Maryland State Boy Choir. If you would like to attend a Music Forum concert, please note that each Friday during the fall and spring semesters, the Music Department of CCBC Essex presents Music Forum concerts at 1220 in the E-Building Recital Hall. These concerts are an integral part of our students' education, and all of the concerts are free and open to the public. For more information on Music Forum, please call 443- 8401521 I'm Monica Otal thank you for watching CCBC TV's Arts Showcase the less you know so why study the less you study the less you know the less you know the less you forget the less you forget the more you know